Hello there. Today I'm in home in Cambridgeshire. Uh, now I've I've climbed the highest mountain in Scotland, England, Wales, and Ireland. But today I'm off to find the the lowest point there is in the UK. Uh, it's in the Cambridgeshire Fens, and it's not a very long walk. But uh, I thought, well. You know, everybody goes for the highest, I'm going to find the lowest, so here we go. It's very, uh, very flat around here, and see how dark and rich the soil is. So a lot of this, I suppose hundreds of years ago, was... Uh, was Fenland, it would have been boggy and a lot of it underwater. That's the local rail line. Anyway, as I was saying, for the train fascination, <laughs> um, a lot of it would have been underwater, but hundreds of years ago it was uh, drained. So I think further along out the back there, maybe get to see all the all the ditches that there are now because this dark land is obviously very rich dark soil is obviously very rich farmland and when you start going out this way towards um, Norfolk and further out to the east uh, there's a lot of farming out there growing of vegetables and crops making the most of this rich soil. This is Holm Fen. It's a, a national nature reserve and is the largest silver birch woodland in southern England. There we are. Seems to be virtually all silver birches from what I can see. Now this too was part of the Fen land and was drained and hopefully there we go, there's a ditch that I'm walking along beside at the minute which is obviously one of the drainage ditches from the past but um, they're trying to stop any further land drainage occurring in this area uh, because I think they're trying to foster marshland which would attract certain uh, birds, I suppose, or insects, nature, anyway. So, to con part of a, a conservation plan. Uh, it's quite large wood, and the place that I'm aiming for is almost in the middle of it. This is it. This is the lowest place in the UK. I'm now standing 2.75 meters below sea level. It's not really that dramatic is it? You'd think, I don't know, it'd like be a big hole in the ground or something like that. Anyway, the around here used to be um, Whittlesea Lake and it was a huge massive lake. I think it was about three miles across uh, at one point and in the 1850s they decided to drain it um, so they could use the land for farming but I think even though they drained it, it the land was just too boggy for that so this post here hopefully here with the pointy bit on top the point at the top that was uh, the level of the land before they started draining uh, yeah when they drained it 
So from the top there, that point a bit, all the way down to here, is how much the peat has, uh, what's the word, shrunk, condensed, since it was, since it was drained. So that's awesome, isn't it? And that, that one measures peat loss. So standing here and hold firm, there is nobody else in the country who is lower than me, naturally speaking, unless you're in a coal mine, I suppose, if coal mines exist or some sort of quarry. But naturally speaking, I am the lowest man in England, Scotland and Wales. But even so, it's a beautiful day. Absolutely stunning. I feel quite hot. It's supposed to snow tonight, but definitely doesn't feel that way at the moment. This is Caldy Court Fen, which is just across the way from where I've just been. And I guess it's all that's left of the original lake that was here. There's a lot of geese somewhere making a right racket. Apart from that, it's a very peaceful spot. There we go, that's Caldy Court Fen been to the lowest point. I don't want my hair sticking up like that, I'm sure. There we go. Um, so now I'm just going to wander through the woodland a little bit, head a little bit further east, have a look round, see what I can find. It's very different, <laughs> I suppose. And quite a bit of your walks. Oh man, that's a monk jack. Ah, just run across my path. Isn't that mad? Just nipped in front. But you can't see him. Oh well, whether you did or not. Um, yeah, often walks are up mountains, aren't they? Often I think we, uh, we achieve to uh, clock up how many Munros we can do, or Wainwrights, or been up the highest mountain here, or the highest mountain there. I just thought it's a bit novel, really, to try and clock up the lowest place as well. So I can say I've been to the highest, Ben Nevis, and the lowest, Holm Fen. I suppose it's east, west, north and south that's left now. But, that would involve some travelling, wouldn't it? Yeah. Goodness me. I'll think about that one. Oh. This is on the edge of the woodland. Very sad, isn't it? I think I saw a documentary about this one time. About that Spitfire and about them excavating it. This really is the edge of the fens. That's the woodland. Just walk through. I 
I sometimes wonder how popular long distance walking is around this part of the world. Whenever you look in maps, look at maps, wouldn't survey maps around this area. There doesn't seem to be many footpaths when I was, you know, checking out this area. There wasn't much in the way of footpaths. I guess. One minute. I suppose because it's so flat, maybe it's not too inspiring when it comes to walks, you know, because I suppose you just can see much what you see. Like now, look at that long, flat, straight road. I'd be interested to know if there are, I suppose there must be walking clubs around this part of the country. I suppose people must do it. Look how popular it is. I really don't know. I don't think there's any long distance paths up this way either. But I might be wrong now. There we are. Anyway, I think I'm heading up that way somewhere near those buildings and then turn right back into the woods. You can see where the the water lies on the land around here. I guess that's just an indication of how this used to be marshland. I don't know how quickly peat uh, drains or whether it's, you know, it holds water for a long time, slow draining, because there's quite a lot of drainage canals in those fields. That's it. I've finished my walk to the lowest place in the UK. <laughs> a bit different to uh, walking up moors or mountains or along tracks. I hope you've liked, uh, liked being with me. And uh, hopefully I'll see you again. I'm just going to have my coffee. Cheers.